Hello everyone, my name is Beckett and welcome back to the channel. And today in Division 2, I'm going to be showing you how to get resources. And to be exact, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Dark Zone resources. There's a lot of things out there that don't really work in the game anymore ever since Warlords of New York came out. So we're going to go over each option, the easy way and the one where you might have to deal with a couple of rogues. But before we get started, if you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe and if you like the video, smash that like button. First off, let's talk about Dark Zone resources and why you need them. So Dark Zone resource is like a currency, kind of just like your credits that you would buy vendor weapons off. And if you ever watch any of my reset videos or any reset videos from any YouTubers covering the game, you will see you always need a D. Z resource. Now, especially if you're a person that hates the Dark Zone or you're just not a fan of the PvP in the game, you don't like looking it over your shoulder every five seconds wondering if the dude next to you is going to go rogue, but that is one of my favorite parts about the Dark Zone. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of times the vendors sell stuff that you cannot find anywhere else in the game. Let me put a couple examples. We have the Emperor's Knee Pads, which is a best in slot item for any PvPer. It gives you 1% armor regen, which is huge. We also have the Claws Out Holster, the Hollow Man Mask. There are several reasons to go and farm these DZ resources. That way you don't have to spend a lot of time in the Dark Zone, especially if you just hate the place, which I don't know why, because I think it's the best PvP game mode ever made, but that's my opinion. Now let's break a couple misconceptions out there because there's a lot of old information that is no longer relevant to the game. Now let's say we're farming resources and we want to go rogue. There is no more gray rogue. There's no white rogue. Once you go rogue, you are rogue and you can be hunted and killed. So just be aware of that. Now during my research, I found out you used to be able to farm DZ resources off Black Tusk, but after testing it, that is no longer a thing. It would be like when you're looking for your hardwire set and you're trying to craft it, those little pieces that drop off Black Tusk in the open world or in the light zone, you would be able to get those resources as well as the Dark Zone resources. So that is no longer a thing. So we're not even going to go into the invaded zone because we're not trying to get gear. We're just trying to get Dark Zone resources. If you're trying to get gear, then go to whatever Dark Zone you are looking for, the targeted loot. If you are trying to get knee pads for those Emperor knee pads, go to a knee pad or go to a Mirokami invaded Dark Zone. Now, if you are just farming gear in the Dark Zone and you want to passively collect Dark Zone resources, probably the easiest way is any gear you pick up that is just garbage, you can just deconstruct it before you extract it, and that will turn into a Dark Zone resource. But it will still be in your contaminated bag, and you will have to extract that, and you're going to have to deal with rogues. You might not if you're good at extracting, and if you play in a group, it's not going to be a problem, but I'm a big solo player, and playing solo in the Dark Zone is just... It's, it's amazing. You should do it more often. It's kind of like when you're in PUBG and you're the last two players, you know, your, your mouse or your controller is shaking and you can't even get your, your uh, crosshairs on the head and you're like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I love that feeling, getting those extractions, especially when you have really something important in your bag. It is a thrill and it is why The Division is one of my favorite games. Now, if you don't want to deal with any of those extractions, I understand there is a much faster way to do this. And you'll see these little panels if you go through alleys anywhere throughout the Dark Zone, as long as you're not in a invaded Dark Zone. Why I say that? Because you cannot hack these terminals. But when you hack a terminal, you are going to go rogue, not rank one. It's going to be a rank zero, and it's only going to last 20 seconds. But in that 20 seconds, it is going to pulse every resource, every box, every cache around in the area and it's a pretty big area and it's not just going to last for that 20 seconds so if you just want to hang out and just wait for your rogue timer to go off and then you can go hunt down these resources now usually i don't wait i usually don't run in too many people especially with a 20 second rogue timer it's going to be gone fairly quick so you just run around pick up all the boxes look for these small little half size black boxes and the great thing about this you do not need to extract them so this is a safe easy way so even if you just die and you're just like i'm just going in there to get dark some resources just go find one of those panels go rank zero and then just run around collect all the resources and you'll find them all over the dark zone just make sure you're in a regular dark zone because black tusk 
hacks all of those and you're unable to use them. Now, I hope this video helped and good luck out there farming those DZ resources. And remember that XP farm, XP glitch is still going on. So take full advantage of it. Now, if you're looking for build videos, tutorials, guides, anything for new players, old players, and everything in between, go ahead and check out my channel. And thanks again for watching.